The Paper Pavilion is a small building designed by Japanese architect Shigeru Ban in 2013. The influence of Japanese architecture in Europe has been very important, especially from the 1930s onwards, when a series of European architects traveled to Japan to discover its architecture. Architects like German Bruno Taut were absolutely fascinated by the apparent simplicity of buildings like Katsura Villa, which in a way resembled some modernist principles of abstraction, but it was built in the 17th century. And this influence continued to be very important during the post-war period with the work of Japanese architects like Kenzo Tange, who was very much in contact with other uh, important European architects like Alison and Peter Smithson or Aldo van Eyck. And it was also quite interesting to see the relationship between the young architects belonging to the so-called met metabolist movement during the 1960s and other avant-garde groups like the English Archigram. The, the influence of Japanese architecture in Europe continues to be of high importance and not only in Europe, I would say worldwide, uh, especially if we look at the past um, decade or so with the amount of architects that have um, um, been awarded by the Pritzker Prize, which is the highest recognition that an architect can have uh, uh, for his professional career. So architects like Kazuyo Sejima, Toyo Ito or Shigeru Bam have got this prize um, in, the, in the past years. Shigeru Ban was commissioned to design the paper pavilion at the I University Madrid campus. And the decision of commissioning uh, Shigeru Ban in particular was motivated by an idea of creating a building that could be temporary, also a building that was built using um, highly innovative materials, uh, but also sustainable ones, materials that need low energy consumption for its manufacturing and in the end producing a piece of architecture of the highest possible standards but at the same time very compromised with principles to which i-university aligns for as well. Mm -hmm.